Hello, in today's technical corner, I'm joined by David from ZCC Cutting Tools, and we're going to be talking about their best selling product here in the UK, your high feed milling. Yes. Tell us more. Uh, the high feed milling product for ZCC in the UK has been a fantastic success. Uh, we offer a full complement um, of high feed product over now three systems. Mm -hmm. We have the, uh, the S style inserts, which are four edged, and we offer inserts that say six, nine, 12, and 15. We have a three-edged insert, which is a W style, which is the historical product, and we now uh, we now introduced the APKT I feed, which fits into our ninety-degree milling system. Okay, so just your standard ninety-degree shoulder mill, yes. but you're just putting in a different insert. Yeah, it had been uh, very popular for for businesses that uh, don't want to buy an additional system, so we can um, we offer them the the I feed solution for their their current uh, ninety-degree shoulder system. And I guess there's probably an advantage if you're doing helical milling, because obviously yes. you're probably finishing as you're roughing out on the side wall. Yeah, you can side wall with it as well. So when we when we pocket in, uh, we pocket in in from solid, mm -hmm. and we helically uh, mill down, and it produces a a, a decent enough finish. Mm -hmm. And this is more what I would class as a, a traditional high feed mill. Yes. I know you've got clamps. Do you see that as a disadvantage? Um, we don't see it as a disadvantage. A disadvantage. We market it as a, a dual clamp system. It has its benefit for AV plunge milling, uh, but 90% um, of the time for high feed milling, we, we recommend that the customer just removes the secondary clamps. Oh, okay, so it's not needed for every it's, operation. It's, it's not required, no, but it's, it's there for safety when you're heavy plunging. It's mm -hmm. quite aggressive. I can see some of these go down to quite some small diameters. So, what is the yes. range from the smallest to the biggest? With the complete, uh, with the complete system, now we're including the APKTs, we start off at 12 mil. Uh, up to 160. Mm -hmm. and, and grades, obviously you see a lot of mold and dye, but how about yes. your, super, your duplex, your super alloys? Yeah, we cover we cover all materials from um, from your hardened materials for your for your obviously carbon steels, stainless steels, and super alloys, and also we uh, machine into titanium so it is also. Okay, we've just mentioned this is uh, your best selling product in the UK. Yes. Who's buying it? You don't tell me a company, but what what does that company look like? It covers a range of of, um, of a customer base uh, from small machine shops where the APKT is popular because they haven't got a high spend through to to um, to, to high end uh, manufacturing facilities that uh, we're using the uh, high feed solution to gain greater metal removal rates to reduce um, costs mm -hmm. manufacturing costs. And we talk about high feed mill; they're all slightly different, aren't they? It's slightly yeah. different uh, play on the theme, but. Can yours do you know face milling? It can ramp, it can interpolate, it can plunge. Yeah, the, the, this system is, is great for spe uh, specifically the um, the ST style. Uh, we are we are shoulder milling, we are face milling, uh, we are plunge milling. Uh, but then obviously with the benefit of the W style and the APKT style, we can now go into solid. And how about you know, tooth load? How, you know how, how these are high performance cutters. Yeah. How good are they? For instance, on carbon steels, we are running. Um, on the SD style at the 2.5 per tooth wow. at two, and, uh, 2 mil depth of cut. Yeah, impressive stuff, impressive stuff. So if you want to learn more about high feed milling, ZCC cutting tools in particular, you know, comment on this video or get in touch.